Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is equalize. Now, the equalize command redistributes the brightness values of the pixels in an image so that they appear more evenly represented throughout the entire range of brightness and all its levels. Equalize always uh, also um, remaps pixel values in the composite image so that the brightness values represent white and the darkest values represent black and the intermediate values are evenly distributed throughout the grayscale range. So let's have a look. I'm going to quickly go to image and go to duplicate and here's an image that I took in Dubai of a desert skyline and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select image and image adjustments and go to equalize and there we have it so it's basically you can see the difference that it's made and it's basically remapped pixel values um, so that the brightness represent are more uh, values represent more white and the darkest represent black and um, the intermediate values are distributed throughout the grayscale range so it's basically kind of added more contrast if you like okay now that's one way of using equalize I'll tell you I'll show you a quick other way a quick tip that we can use we can also use equalize with quick selection tools and selected areas so we can equalize certain selected areas which can work quite well as too so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my um, other image and I'm going to use a, the quick selection tool and I'm going to use diameter of 30 yep hardness I'm going to do about 71 which is fine and I'm just going to hold down and select and the quick selection tool does a pretty good job of selecting the area um, I should really select refine edge if you haven't seen my refine edge tutorial make sure you have a look in the, in the other chapter refine edge I should really be using this but I'm not going to show you because I want to run out of time and what I'm going to do now is just go to image adjustments and go to equalize and dialog box options appear we need to select the selected area only and there we have it so Photoshop has equalized that area and it's quite cool the next thing you, you, you'll you see why I was saying we need to use refine edge because we've got this sharp kind of horizon line that doesn't really look realistic the next thing I'm going to do is press control J or duplicate layer we can also, I'm just going to press edit undo, we can also select this and drag it there to duplicate the layer and what I'm going to do is go to image adjustments and go to equalize again like so so now we've got um, an equalized over here so I'm just going to switch off the eye tab and if we look at this layer we've got the equalized only for the sky and then we've got it for the whole throughout the image and you can see that nice detail in the sand now for this image what I'm going to do is use a eraser tool I'm going to use a soft brush 300 and um, and I'm going to simply just erase my top image and you'll see the softer one which hasn't um, the softer image behind it coming through which is quite nice which is an effect that I wanted so we it's getting um and I'll just do and I can get rid of some of that harshness like so so it's just not so much contrast okay now the next thing I'm going to do is select this layer press control so press control J duplicate that layer and um, drag it all the way up and I'm gonna use my eraser tool and just erase the bottom like so so we can see I can be really selective at this stage and kind of only pick out the details that I really want to so I don't if I had it if I, I could use a different in fact I could use a different brush and just kind of like brush out the the details you can go ahead and use a mask if you want to I just like erasing because it feels a lot better um, and I can make this look a lot more natural in that way um, so we've got less kind of more kind of cloud here so really in hindsight that should be have um, much more l lower tones if you like okay now the next thing I'm going to do is you'll see if I switch off all of this this is what it looks like and you can see if I switch off that you see what it looks like there and so forth 
Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is select the top layer, like so, and I'm just going to go to filter. I'm going to give this a soft blur. I'm going to go to blur. I'm going to go to motion blur, and I'm going to say angle zero, and I'm going to say distance 18, and I'll click OK. Now that's worked quite beautifully for me, but for those at home, you may not be able to see it. There we have it. So a few tricks using equalize on various layers and kind of switching them over. Um, it will take a bit more work. I'm not really happy with this. So in in kind of next tutorials or in my own time, I'll really retouch this properly so it's nice and sharp. But you get the idea.